Tubers, this is your boy Mari Points here with the latest movie review. Today I'm doing a movie review on The Legend of Tarzan. I saw this movie uh, yesterday with one of my friend, one of my friends, and I have to say this movie was pretty epic. I am not gonna lie, I enjoyed every second of this movie. The actors lit, uh, did well on the roles too. So, so I'm not, I at first I thought this was gonna be a huge disappointment, but when I saw it, it was actually it was it blew my mind. It practically blew my mind away, and I love how Scar's car Scar's guard sorry Scar's guard perfected the famous uh, jungle yell. He actually does it twice in the movie. I don't want to spoil it for you, but I. I can't say which part he did it in, but you'll just have to see that for yourself. And I'm on and now on to the positives and negatives. What the positives are the positives about this movie was the scenic uh cinema cinematography. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. And how Tarzan Tarzan as a celebrity in England like if you guys saw the teaser trailer Samuel L. Jackson Samuel L. Jackson was like you you are Tarzan Lord of the Apes Tarzan Tarzan yeah that was practically that was practically pretty am amazing if you ask me how how they actually saw him as a celebrity and the negatives they call they call him they call him the great white savior which I found it hard to believe true he is a savior but only to like the apes and all the animals around and what else the ape visual effects the ape visual effects were kind of lacking were kind of lacking in the in the movie a little bit because they really didn't put a lot of effort they really didn't put a lot of effort into making them live action there was a little effort but not a lot there were a few weak performances in the movie like with uh, Christopher Waltz character it's yeah he was the villain but he didn't actually get the chance to like do anything villainish except like kidnap Tarzan's wife. That's basically it. We only see him in a few scenes, ba pretty much. But I think we need. But I think what I what could have been great was him having a little more action scenes in the movie. But I'm pretty sure they'll. I'm pretty sure they'll have. I'm pretty sure they'll have him do like a few extra scenes and hopefully they have an extended version of uh, The Legend of Tarzan on DVD. But I think but I think he could have done a whole lot more scenes. I think he could have done a whole lot more scenes. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. I apologize. But I know that I know that maybe he could have added a little bit more to his character instead of just, I don't know, kidnapping the girl and everything. There was a few amount of racial, there was a little bit of, there was a significant amount of hysterical and racial baggage. There were a few dopey moments in the scene, but all in all, this movie is practically kind of like one of those adventure, heartwarming, romantic scenes, but there's a few scenes that I wouldn't recommend kids on kids on seeing, but I think this is practically like an adult movie, and all and for all the Tarzan fans out there, this actually beats the Disney version of Tarzan way more better because it in the Disney uh, version it really didn't lead lead up to its expectations. If you to be honest, it really didn't. It really wasn't all that good. I saw it as a kid, but I loved it as a kid. But as I got older, I really didn't like it. And now, on to, on to the actors. 
Alexander Skarsgård, who plays the Lord of the Jungle himself, he actually fits this role really well. He put a lot of effort. He he put a lot of effort into being Tarzan as well. And at first, I was kind of skeptical about him playing the leading role, but when I saw him, he actually fits this role pretty well. And and I think all the past Tarzans would, if they were, if a few of them were still alive. I think all the past Tarzans would actually be glad that they that they found the perfect uh, the per the perfect match uh, for Tarzan as well. Uh, and Margaret Robbie, aka the girl who plays Jane Porter, she is no damsel in distress. She's really not. She she actually she is the exact opposite of a damsel in distress. She takes action and she takes action and knows how to fight. She she wasn't she had no intention she had no intention on being being that type of Jane and screaming for help or anything. She, no. She was actually the toughest Jane of all of them out of all of them if you ask me because because how she played this role she played it wonderfully and she she always she kind of fits the role p pretty well and I'm I'm hoping I'm hoping we get to see her in like the sequel or something because that would be amazing if we did and and on to Samuel L Jackson who plays George Washington he actually brought a, a lot of humor to this movie too and there were a few funny scenes in this movie that well I actually loved but I'm not gonna spoil it for you he I, I loved how he brought uh, th his character to life and learned how to take action when uh, Tarzan needed him as a friend too and and what else I loved how he actually, I loved how he actually decided to help, help uh, Tarzan get his wife back, and he, and also, this practically beats all the other roles in that he played in the past, al along with other, uh, other roles that he played in the past. I'm sorry, I can't speak today. I'm, I apologize for the people who are watching. He actually, I want, I'm hoping to see him in the sequel as well, because basically we need George Washington once more, and Samuel, and a lot of Samuel L. Jackson, and Christ, Christopher Waltz, Christopher Waltz, the main villain, I'm sorry buddy, but I think you could have done a whole lot better as the villain, you, all you did was all he did was practically kidnap the girl and we didn't we rarely saw him in a few scenes we really saw him in a few scenes because basically it just his character was kind of awful it was really awful I'm sorry but basically I think you could I think Christopher could have done a whole lot m more with his a whole lot more with his character because Basically, because he, I think he, he could have like done more villainy, or a lot of other things. And now, what can I say about uh, Tarzan's brother, the leader of the apes, Akut? He was actually one of the best apes that ever, ever played played in this movie. And of all the of all the Tarzan movies I've seen, this actually is this ape was practically really kind and and really helpful in with in this movie. He actually helped Tarzan a few times as well get his wife back. But and I was actually glad to see how 
I was actually glad to see him help Tarzan in so many ways, but we didn't see him like when he actually started to stampede, if most of you saw the trailer of the stampede scene in the clips. We didn't really see him after that, but all in all, I actually think he was pretty helpful to Tarzan, and he was a great leader. And the chief, the chief, Chief Magumba, Magumba, I think, yeah, his he was actually pretty amazing as well. I loved how he, the, his character was practically in really really into it I love how the actor that played him was really into his role I want I really hope we get to see him again but this time not as the enemy but as Tarzan's ally and also the city of Opar the city of Opar was actually awesome as well I, I actually loved how they did all the settings for the for that city, all they took the time to like uh, sketch, sketch the city together and made sure that they didn't leave all the details out. But I hope for the next, I hope for the next movie, I hope for the next movie we get to see Queen La, because she's practically the main, she's practically the main part of. Excuse me, she's practically like the main part of Opa, Opar and we didn't really see her in this movie but I think she's practically the main part she needs to be in the next movie though because because I think it would be great if she was because in the Tarzan books we actually saw we actually saw her we actually saw her and play a huge role in the books but in the movie, not so much. I'm hoping we actually, I, I'm hoping that she actually does appear in the second movie or in the sequel. Cause that would be a huge major excitement for all the Tarzan fans out there that have been looking for her in, to be in films over the years. And on to the rating. I give the Legend of Tarzan and A plus. Uh, I hope you guys can see it. I give it an A plus because Warner Brothers actually took the time to make this movie uh, really, really great for all the Tarzan fans and all the other fans around the world. Also, I loved how the visual effects and everything the visual effects and everything were ju just great and and also they took the time to make sure that this movie was wasn't a disappointment for all the fans out there and and they also made sure they also made sure how to capture the flashbacks and to capture the flashbacks of uh, Tarzan's past and the memories of his parents as well to the memories of his parents as well so that way we can learn more about him and how he came to be in London and I think that's about it for my movie review don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with everyone you know and and I hope you guys enjoyed it take care and God bless peace